Hello friends, my name is Teacher Cheryl. I'm here with Play to Learn Pierce County, a program powered by Green Trike and brought to you through the generosity of our sponsors and our partners. Do you like butterflies? Today our activity has to do with butterflies and it also is going to teach us about symmetry. Symmetry means when something is the same on one side as it is on the other side. So my hands are symmetrical. I have one on this side and one on this side. And if I turn them this way and cross at my wrists and touch my thumbs, I have made the sign language sign for butterfly with my symmetrical hands. And friends, the reason that symmetry is an important thing to learn about is because it is an important early math skill for learning spatial reasoning. And spatial reasoning is one of the most reliable predictors of later mathematical understanding that there is. And it is also, by learning how to identify lines of symmetry, it's also a way for us to see math in our everyday life and everywhere we look. So, for our butterfly activity, we need two people. We need a piece of paper. We need something to draw with and we need some scissors. So this is an activity that takes two of us because we're going to do something cooperatively. Now to make a symmetrical butterfly, to make lots of symmetrical things actually, one way we can do that with paper is to fold the paper in half. So if we fold it in half, then whatever we do on this side of the paper with our scissors, is going to be done on the other side of the paper as well. And what we're going to do with this side of the paper is we are going to draw half of a butterfly. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but a butterfly has one piece of wing and then another piece of wing, an upper one that's usually bigger and a lower one that's usually smaller. So that's what I'm going to draw first is the butterfly wing and I'm going to use almost all my paper. So let's see what that looks like. I think maybe I need to go like this too. So you can see that we have one really big wing and then one smaller wing underneath. And you know, using scissors and learning how to cut is such good exercise for the small muscles of our hands, our pincher grasp and our cutting. This can help us with our writing and with just using so many different tools. So maybe one of you could draw the half of the butterfly, because remember, this is a two-person activity, and the other one could try and cut it out, and that could be the first thing that you do together, is work together to make a butterfly that is a symmetrical shape, a butterfly of paper. So let's open up this butterfly's wings. There it is. It is a symmetrical butterfly. It has two big wings up here and two smaller rounder wings down here. So let's draw a line right down the center and that will be like the butterfly's body and it will also be our line of symmetry. So I'm gonna take a color that I like. I think maybe the purple. Oh, it's a blue. I thought it was going to be purple. And there's our line of symmetry. And there's our butterfly's little head at the top of the line of symmetry. And making its body. Now the game that I'm thinking of, or the activity that I'm thinking of, is for one person to make some designs on one half of the butterfly 
And then when they're finished, the other person can copy it and make it symmetrical on the other half of the butterfly. So you could use shapes. Like here, I am going to make a yellow triangle right over here on the little um, on the little round piece of the wing. And maybe, maybe I'll make an outline of pink around that. You could do anything you can think of to make some lines of symmetry. Let's see, what other colors should I use? What should I do up here? Maybe, uh, maybe I'll make a circle up here to decorate my butterfly and color it in. And maybe I'll take this lighter blue color and make some more spots around the outside. Maybe I'll make a pattern. So I'll do purple in the middle and then light blue. And then maybe I'll do another purple circle around the outside. Here and let's see, I liked that bright pink color, so maybe I'll bring some of that over here. Maybe let's see some lines like this, some wavy lines with a with some yellow wavy lines here. So, like I said, you can decorate it any way you like, anything that you can think of. But the fun thing is to have the first person do it first, and then have the second person copy what you've done. So, there is a decoration of my butterfly. So I made a pattern up here and some colors down here. And now the idea would be for the second person to try and copy what was done on this side. So that would make the butterfly symmetrical, which in real life, butterfly wings are symmetrical. And that's one thing we know about them. So, if you were going to start, what's the first thing that you would do to try and make a symmetrical butterfly? So, I'm looking at this circle over here, and it's right up close, so I have to look carefully, don't I? It's right up close to the point of this um, wing, so I'm going to do that make a circle and I'm going to try and make it close to the same size as the one that's over there and color it in. What would you do next? Would you do the light blue around the wing circle? Color that in. And then maybe the purple around that. Hmm. And then I'm looking at my triangle down here and I'm noticing that there's a point right there, right there, and right there. So I'm going to try and copy that. I'm doing this upside down. It's a little bit hard, but that's okay. You would not have to do it that way. So there's my other triangle to make that symmetrical. And then take the pink color and go around the outside, but noticing that there's some white between the pink and the yellow. And then, see, I got it a little too close to the edge, I think, to be perfectly symmetrical. But it's pretty close. Now, I think that an easy way to do this part is to notice that this pink line is right by the butterfly's head. I'm going to have to turn it this way or my eyes are going to get confused. So it goes up, it goes down, 
and up and down and up and across. And then the yellow does the same thing here. And the blue is straight. So see, I'm paying really close attention to what's on the other side to help me know how to match it. And you can make it as simple or as complicated as you like. Down and up and down and up down and then the yellow goes like that. So how did we do? It looks a lot the same, doesn't it? I think that I started everything over here just a little bit too far. If I folded it, I could test it and notice, but I copied my design from side to side. So that's the idea, is to just take a minute and play this game together where one person draws one side and then the other person tries to copy. And maybe you take turns to do that together and learn about symmetry and the wings of butterflies. I hope you have fun doing this and if you make a butterfly or um, make any of the butterfly ideas that are also on our butterfly handout on our website where you found this video. I would love to see your creations and um, admire what you've done. Thanks for playing, friend. Bye-bye.